All right, now we're going to do the 2021 20, five years. Uh, we had several of those too. Well, we're going to start with you, Andrea. Yay, she's been here five years. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but she has chickens. I do have chickens. And she gets new chickens periodically, because I know that you've been talking lately about some new chickens you've gotten. Yes, we got three new chickens this year to go with our three old chickens. So now we have six chickens. Yeah. Do you uh, eat their, are they laying hens? They are, they are. We eat the eggs, we don't eat the chickens. So once they're done laying, they're just preloading pets at that point. Gotcha. And you'd like to have a small farm someday. I would, I would. I'd like to get a cow and a pig and a goat or two, have some land, maybe a horse. That seems like a lot of work. That's what I'm thinking. Someday. And that you had met Will Farrow? I did. I think it was in 2008. I'm pretty sure he came to Manhattan when I was going to college there. And um, we went to see his show. And then afterwards, he went out to Aggieville. And we happened to also be in Aggieville. And we got to meet him at Kites. And he attempted to eat some giant cheeseburger. It was a lot of fun. Wow. Sounds fun. Like that sounds like a good time. I have a picture somewhere, but I don't know where. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll find it. Um, and you would like to travel, do the time travel, which you kind of already talked I about. Would. But also invisibility, so that I don't get roped into being like the Egyptian worker, like oh, I'm invisible and just observe. Yeah. So I need both time travel and invisibility. And you like gardening and cooking and just being outside? I do. Okay. Yes. If I'm in a mood or something, I just go outside. I'm all about it. That's good. So when you get in the mood here, we can say, hey. So when I'm Maybe outside. Maybe you should go stand outside. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Takes me out. Another five-year 2021 is Julissa Romano. She works at East. And uh, one thing I remember about Julissa is she was on her way to work when we had some ice. And not, we had a lot of people that didn't show up. But she, she still came into work. But she slipped and fell and broke her ankle. Oh, oh no. no. And then she came in and didn't want to go nowhere, you know, to get that fixed. And finally, you know, they got that all taken care of. But, yeah, she broke her ankle coming to work. She was that wow. dedicated to feeding the kids. Yes. Um, she didn't send us nothing, so I'm going to make up. She, her favorite color is paint. You know, <laughs> you know, why not? And that she likes to ride horses. Who does I mean, that's a good guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if she does or not, but she might. I mean, it's feasible, I it's guess. It's possible. Anything's possible. So if you like the color pink and like to ride horses, you need to let us know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Kathy Shear is another one of our five-year of service, and she works at South. And she said one of her proudest moments has worked is when the South High Cafeteria uh, won the Breakfast Hero Award. That was a couple of years ago. There was five sites that, that did that, and it, it was quite the accomplishment. And uh, she would like to be a beautician. I would have never guessed that. I mean, I don't think that she looks bad or anything. Don't get me wrong like that. But I, of all the years that she's been here and I've talked to her, she's never mentioned about being a beautician. Hmm. That would be a fun job. It would be a fun job. I, I don't know anything about hair or makeup. Or, that wouldn't be a fun job for me. But. Yeah, me neither. If yeah, Kathy knows some other practice someone, like I'd, I'd sign up. Yeah. That's one of my top things to do when I am off work. I yeah. love going to the beauty shop. It's so relaxing. So, I get it. And uh, when she walks in the room, she liked the song Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys to be playing. Ooh, that girl can sing. Yes, yeah, she can. And that's a cool song. I even know what that song is, too. It's funny. Yeah. Big voice. Yes, very big song. voice. All right, well, Rocio Corona, uh, she works at the Food Production Center in the Cold Production Department. Uh, did you know she's met Kevin Hart? Talk, talk about oh, famous people. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, wow. right? But yeah, we want to hear the story, so you need to share that with us. Did he tell you a joke? You'll was he to... loud? I mean, isn't that in the new commercial <laughs> that he's loud? Well, her dream job is to open up a boutique store someday. Uh, she says it still may not be too late for that, but we hope you stay with us for a long time. Maybe, Maybe you could do it on the side. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Everyone needs yeah. somebody yeah. else running. The side yeah. Yeah. Everybody needs a good side gig. Uh, and her unique talent is baking. I would like to try that. Yeah. I would too. Well, Does she ever bring food? stuff to work? You know, I don't know. We, we have all kinds of food at, at work at the Food Production Center. If you've never been to uh, one of our potlucks, they are mm -hmm. quite extravagant. Um, and so I'm sure she's brought stuff. So I'm going to have to try it. Yeah, I'll have yes. to. Try to find that out. Oh, you need to bake for us. 
Patricia Locks um, is also a five-year 2021 employee, and she works over at Bostic. Uh, we call Patricia Trish for short, um, and she loves seeing the kids, making them smile, but her favorite food is lasagna. Yeah, I love some good lasagna. Yes, and so do the kids, and they were pretty upset that we didn't have lasagna this year because of COVID. So I hope we can bring that back to the menu next year and you'll have to let them know how it is, Trish. Her favorite song is Dust in the Wind. I like that song, Kansas. Band from Kansas. From Kansas. <laughs> yes, that is a good song. Very Kansas appropriate song too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then Trish would like to travel to Canada. Another beautiful place from the pictures. I've never been there, so. Yeah, I would like to travel to Canada too. And it, you know, it doesn't seem that far away since it's connected, you know? Like, I think it's another 12 hours, 13 <laughs> hour trip straight. I mean, we're right in the middle. I mean, we can go to beach or mountains, you know, well, Canadian mountains. Yeah, that, that would be fun though. Yeah. I would road trip, enjoy Canada, I think. So if you go, you'll have to let me know. <laughs> All right, Andre Carter, uh, or as most people know him, Butter, uh, he also works at the Food Production Center at the Southern Distribution Department uh, prior to working at FTC with the Heights. So, uh, anybody know why he's called Butter? Anybody know the backstory? No. I do not. I do not. I wonder if there's a story. I'd oh, like to hear it. Yeah, but it's not, it's not like it's close to his name or anything. All so. right. Andre, you'll have to let us know yes. why you're called Butter. Butter. Butter, why you called butter? Yeah, butter, why you called butter? So in his transition from Heights to working at FTC, he said his job has changed from cooking to Matthew Lowe's cabinets. Uh, so Butter's also met quite a few famous people. Uh, Barry Sanders, Too Short, I think he's a rapper, maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, Travis Kelsey. Oh, very cool. Uh, Tyree Kill. I'm noticing a team here. All right, we must uh, go to a lot of Chiefs games. Right, and get this, Prince and Cher. Wow. wow. Right, just a few. So seriously, like, where have you met all these people? Do you go to a lot of concerts? Did one of them give you your nickname, Butter? There you go, there you go. There you go. I mean, if Chris called me Butter, I'd probably go by Butter. I would too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that would be sick. His proudest moment was helping a high schooler at Heights gain the confidence to graduate. That's awesome. awesome. That is. Yeah. yeah, that gives me chills. That's awesome. That really is. Next, we have Jeff Miller. He's the uh, manager out at Wilmer. And his proudest moment, another proud moment, just like uh, Butters, is that when a student wrote him a letter telling him what an inspiration his attitude was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Way cool. Yeah. It's, it, those kids just, you know, can tear at your heartstrings. Mm -hmm. Yes, they can. And they do watch. I mean, that, that's something that we may not notice so much is when you're working out at the schools that they notice. They notice all kinds of things that we do. We should be a great um, role model for them. And they see us almost every day. Yes. The ones that work out at the sites, yes. Yes, yeah. they do. So, and he also is uh, an avid fisherman. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, in fact, he says he can speak the Bass dialect. What a gift. So <laughs> he's... He's, he's the bass um, whisperer, I guess might be a, a way to call him. Fluent. You like to fish, don't you, Julie? I do, I do like to fish. Mm -hmm. I haven't done it recently, you know. Right now the spoonbill are really hidden and uh, they're getting some big catfish out of some of the major lakes. Yeah, they're starting to spawn, so now's a good time to go fishing. Resident fish expert over here. Mm -hmm. well, I just so, read it. You Jeff, know. if you have any questions about fishing, no, no, no. I asked Jeff. <laughs> when I visit Wilbur, I said, hey, Jeff, where you been? What'd you catch? You know, what's going on? So, so Jeff is the expert. You're the student, right? Exactly, okay. exactly. Gotcha. Um, and uh, he had once had a successful business, and then he uh, wanted to retire, so he did. And then he came working for us because he said retirement wasn't what it was cracked up to be. I think he was bored a little bit, and he just loves working for us and the kids. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. You know, they say, you never work a day in your life if you enjoy what you do. Exactly, exactly. So, maybe Jeff figured that out. Yeah. Our next employee is Andrea Ellis, 
Andrea works over at Price Harris Elementary. And something you might not know about her was she was the first black female manager at a McDonald's in El Paso, Texas. Wow. wow. I thought that was a pretty cool accomplishment. Yes, that is. She loves working with the kids and interior decorating as well as cooking. Wow. Yeah. So cooking is what brought her to nutrition services. Andrea, you and I have something alike. I love decorating and cooking. So, so you can go hang out with Cammie, Andrea. <laughs> Um, she, her favorite restaurant is Texas Roadhouse. They do have put out some good food, I think. Oh in my, my gosh. opinion, they do. Those I have the chips rolls. and salsa problem there, where I eat all the rolls and then my dinner just goes oh, to go yeah. off. I love that butter so, mix that they give you with those rolls. Mm -hmm. It just melts. And, uh, yep, keep the hot rolls coming. Yeah. All right, now I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it lunchtime yet? Not yet. We're getting closer. We're in a minute. So. And then. Andrea's favorite song is Idea by Stevie Wonder. How does that go? I, I can't picture it. I can't either. We'll have to look that up and give it a listen. Oh, no. next again. Another elementary employee, Amanda Bryant. Uh, she loves serving the kids and cannot wait until COVID is over. Oh, well, she's thanks. with us too. Yes. I have to agree. I am over the masks, mainly, but I wear them. Yes, that is what we're supposed to do. But next year, if we don't have to wear the masks, you're gonna see me dancing through the hallways. Can I film it? <laughs> I think And then use it at the next in service? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I also want everybody to notice that we have pictures of, of our folks that uh, go along with our theme behind the mask. So, you know, these are what these folks that uh, been wearing their mask for a year now that we can uh, show you what they really look like. We're wearing our mask because we're in close contact. And, yes. But, uh, yeah, so behind the mask. And then we have Naoma from Northeast. And if she had a super power, she wants to fly. She wants to fly because then she can go anywhere whenever she wants, you know, just do it all, everything overhead, have a sky, sky view of everything. And she would like to take a European vacation, and especially go to Italy. Another Italy oh. uh, person that wants to go to Italy. Anna, oh. you'll have to call up Anna. Anna wants to go to Italy too. Yeah, maybe we could just put a trip together. And anybody wants to go to Italy, here you go. We'll go next spring break. <laughs> I know it's a thought. Um, and the, recently, the, the Kansas governor was at our school, and she got to meet her. She thought that was pretty cool. I think so too. That is cool. Our next group of employees, we have Lashavia Long. Uh, Lashavia works at Washington Elementary. Uh, fun fact about Lashavia is Lashavia was on the news a couple weeks ago. Uh, KSN did a story on um, eight employees of Washington Elementary because they were all pregnant at the same time. Oh, and they're no all kidding. due within like weeks of each other. I think that's happened before at Washington, wasn't it? A few years ago? I don't know. I think that it's happened there before. Wow. Which makes it even more interesting. <laughs> right? Don't that's drink the water. Don't drink the water when you go to Washington. <laughs> I will not. I don't think it was quite that many, but there was a group of them. Huh? So, are we'll they all there in the summer, or we don't have to find a sub? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Wait and see. Yeah, see. But KSN did say they're going to do a follow-up story, so everyone, watch Channel 3. We'll be tuning in. You might see Lashavia. Yes, we'll be tuning in. <laughs> All right, well, Larry Winnegar, he works at FPC as a maintenance technician. Um, he started as a Crew 3 driver and moved to the warehouse as a Crew 4 backup driver, and now he's our maintenance technician here. So he gets his hands dirty and fixes a lot of things for us. Yes, he does. We appreciate him, too. Yes, yes. very much so. Uh, his unique talent is spending excessive amounts of money on obsessively collecting various things. I want to know what kind of things you collect. He says baseball cards and knives for a couple he listed. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you know he has around 500 knives? 
No. That's it's a lot of mess. Do the pornography displays them somewhere? I don't know. You'll have to let us know, Larry. Yes, but that is pretty impressive. That's quite the collection. Pocket yeah. knives? Oh, yeah, what about kind of knives? I mean, is it old knives? Hand carved? You know, kitchen knives? I mean, I guess it could be. Pop, like you said, pocket knives? Yeah. Throwing knives? Oh, oh hopefully, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not throwing. Little stars, you know, is that a knife? But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, Larry also says that writing his Harley makes him smile, uh, and he loves to take his motor set, motorcycle um, out, and he would like to take a trip on Route 66 from end to end. Oh, that would be fun. Right? Wouldn't yeah. it? That would be a cool thing. The wind in your hair that whole time, as long as you have good weather. Yes. And maybe stop in at some cool diners, drive-ins, yeah. you know? And dives. And dives. Right? Yeah. Like like show. Show. <laughs> <laughs> on your motorcycle. It's like, I could eat my way across the country. <laughs> That would be fun. Uh, next we have Naomi. She works at North. And she would like to meet the South Korean actor, Mi Lin Ho. I do not know who that is, but I find that interesting and wanting to meet a certain actor. Must you, be pretty good. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. my guess. That's my guess. Um, and North also won that Breakfast uh, Hero Award. That's what she said was their greatest accomplishment at work, was winning that award. Um, but her dream job, and I thought this was interesting, is modeling. She would make a great model. She would. She would make a great model. Yes, she, she would make a great model. I know Naomi from working at Marshall, remote feeding. So. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure she's tall enough for what their standard is, but that would be the only thing. Really tall shoes. That's true. That's true. It's all about the camera angle, right? Just right. put on some really tall shoes and then yeah. camera angle. Yeah, it looks six true. foot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next we have for our 2021 five years of service is Maria from Heights. Uh, she didn't send us anything, so you know what? I'm going to make some up. I like it. <laughs> she loves green shirts with pink polka dots. Oh, fancy. I like it. Green shirts with pink. Very loud. Are yes. You, is she yes. a very loud person? Uh, big personality? She does have a great personality. She does have a great personality, I get it. Yes. And the other thing that I made up is that she would like to travel outside of Wichita, Kansas. Well, I don't know if she has or not made it to Derby or anything, but she'd like to get out of Wichita, Kansas. Oh. All made up, folks. All made up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we've got Lou Garcia. Uh, Lou's works at the Food Production Center at the South of the Food Production Department. Uh, she is most looking forward to traveling after retirement. Uh, her dream vacation is to travel to Jerusalem. Didn't we have another employee that wanted to travel to Jerusalem? We did. We did? Yeah. I thought it was Egypt. We have both. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that would be an awesome place to visit. I think so, too. Talk yeah. about history. Right. Andrea. Yeah. Uh, so if she could choose a superpower, she would also want to be able to fly so she could see everything. So I'm seeing a theme here, right? Yeah. 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 Maybe she could fly to Jerusalem. There you go. Hey, you wouldn't have to get on an airplane for that. So, right? No, no. Our last group of five years of service for 2021 is Anisha Carter. Anisha works at Spate. Um, Anisha is also Butter's sister. Fun fact. Really? She knows yes. where that nickname came from. Maybe she knows where the nickname came from. So Does she have a nickname? No. Well, I don't. Anisha? You will have to let us know if you have a nickname. I call Anisha Anisha. <laughs> and then she loves chatting with the kids and seeing them grow up. Um, Anisha's kids went to Spate. So she, that's how she got started. That's how she got started. Yep, and she would like to travel to Hawaii and Disney World and Florida. Fun. Mm -hmm. Fun. Those seem like epic vacations. Yeah. Yes. Anisha also loves French toast and omelets. Who doesn't? I think that's making me hungry. I know. Hawaii, Disney World, French toast, omelets. And you show up? Yes. She is speaking my language. Right. Our next employee is Teresa Killian. Teresa works at McLean Elementary. And Teresa's most embarrassing moment was when she dropped a bag of chili and it went everywhere. And I think we all can relate. If we've ever subbed at a school and you make a big mess of something, I think back to one of the first times I ever subbed 
and I dropped, we were having broccoli and cheese that day, and I dropped nacho cheese, hot nacho cheese, <laughs> and it had to be hot, all down the front of my leg, and my shoes were squishy with nacho cheese, and the kids had broccoli and some cheese. I think it's a rite of passage for everybody. <laughs> I mean, if you ever go out to serve, there, eventually it's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, it might not be a whole bag, but it'll be something. You know, water from a lid or, or, or anything. Yep. But yeah, that it is embarrassing when it happens. But you learn from it. You do. You, know, you get a little bit more careful about it. And then you remember to always check the bags. Yes. And hold on to them. And then Sheila. Sheila works at College Hill. Um, and I hear Sheila's house is the place to be in the summertime. Why is because, that? Because, well, Sheila has a pool. Oh. Yeah, so hers is the hopping spot for all the neighborhood kids. We'll be looking for an invite, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, please invite us to your next pool party. Right, as long as it's 85 degrees and sunny. Yes, <laughs> yes. We'll bring the beach towels. <laughs> well, that looks like that finishes up our 2021 five years of service.